It's a multi-currency world out there. Welcome to CurrencyCast. My name is Austin McKinley. I'm the Senior Financial Writer at Cantox and your host. In today's episode, we analyze a development that many find surprising, but that stands at the core of our thinking, the multi-currency world. The prevailing view of a world dominated by just a handful of currencies like the US dollar and the euro is being challenged as we speak. We'll reveal how you can take advantage of the profit margin benefits that lie ahead in the multi-currency world. Last week, we asked a question about using USD or CNY in the case of a European-based firm with imports from China. From a commercial perspective, Using the local currency translates into better deals, as FX markups from suppliers are avoided. Also, firms have access to a wider range of potential suppliers. From a liquidity management perspective, you may uh, benefit from extended paying terms. Finally, from a strictly financial perspective, the wider forward discount of CNY relative to the euro compared to USD is an opportunity to generate more positive forward points when hedging. The currencies of a number of small but well-managed economies, alongside the natural rise of CNY, are gaining importance. The Canadian, Australian and New Zealand dollar, the Norwegian and Swedish krone, the Singapore dollar and the South Korean one. The change is not driven in a top-down manner by macroeconomic forces. Instead, it reflects a bottom-up and microeconomic phenomenon made possible by technology. Today's multi-currency world is driven by corporate traders taking advantage of multi-dealer trading platforms such as 360T. These platforms have led to a massive compression in spreads, have increased liquidity beyond the major currency pairs, and have reduced the network effects of US dollar. Whereas a CAD MXN transaction used to require two transactions involving on the one hand USD MXN and on the other hand USD CAD, it is now possible to trade CAD MXN directly and cost effectively with multi dealer trading platforms. Before discussing the business implications of the multi currency world, let me ask you this week's question What is the relationship between multi-currency pricing and credit risk. In a world of war, pandemics and inflation, this is surely a most pressing concern. We'll discuss some of the possible answers in our next episode. Back to the issue of the multi-currency world. Let me briefly mention some of the benefits of selling in more currencies. We discussed the advantages on the contracting side earlier on. FX markups with multi-currency pricing companies can monetize existing FX markups. High margin sales. Companies can drive direct high margin sales to their website with many different payment methods. And reduced cart abandonment. Online businesses can deploy multi-currency pricing as their secret weapon in reducing cart abandonment. By taking FX risk out of the picture, you put your business in a position to confidently use more currencies in its day-to-day -day operations. While doing so with the help of automated solutions, you remove time-consuming and error-prone tasks with some additional bonuses, optimization of interest rate differentials, more time to devote to value-adding tasks, and openness to further automation. By empowering commercial teams to always buy and sell in the most profitable currency, the finance team acts as a strategic business enabler within the enterprise. That's the promise of the multi-currency world that is taking shape as we speak.